welcome back to my channel Yasmin Cooks. Today I'm going to show you a recipe which is 100% vegan and vegetarian friendly. Um, I'm going to be making today a baby aubergines curried. This is really straight, straightforward and simple recipe. Uh, it doesn't take you a long time to cook and, and believe me you're going to absolutely love it. For the ingredients I've got two medium onions sliced one heaped tablespoon of garlic and ginger paste I always like to use the paste because it'll last longer but if you have fresh then use fresh I've got one green bullet chilli just sliced For my dry spices I've got one teaspoon of coriander one teaspoon of cumin powder one teaspoon of chilli powder half a teaspoon of turmeric one teaspoon of salt but it's just hiding under the other one <laughs> and I've got one teaspoon of mustard seeds I've also got half a tin of tomatoes that's about 100 grams but you can also use fresh tomatoes if you wanted I've all, and now I've got 10 baby aubergines and two, we're going to use a filling of half a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of chilli and I'm going to show you what to do with that. Now the first step to our recipe is to cut the aubergines into quarters but leave them stuck together. So I've done this with some of them, I'm going to show you how to do now. So come, hold the baby aubergine and slice it to the bottom but not all the way to the end. And then again, so it's into quarters. And then I'll show you again. So we're going to cut it into quarters like this but it's got to stay intact so it's still there together. Now we're going to take the half a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of chilli and we're going to very gently open up the aubergine and sprinkle some in there and just make sure it's in there. Not too much because it's chilli and salt. So just rub it in there and make sure they stay together so you can see some chilli and salt in there and do that to all of them and then put them to the side whilst we get our base ready. Now that the aubergines have been filled with chilli and salt, we're going to leave them to the side and we're going to get on with our base. Now for this part you need a food processor and in the food processor we're going to add the green chilli, our onions, our garlic and ginger. And all our dry spices, but not the mustard seeds. And also our tomatoes. Then we're going to just start food processing. Done. I don't like making it too thin I like it a little bit so you can see the onions and, and ginger and things in there so I like it like that but if you like it thinner you can food process it for longer that's not a problem now we've got our things ready so we've got our aubergines and we've got our base now it's over to the cooking part I've got myself a pan put some oil in it about four tablespoons of oil and to that I'm gonna add the mustard seeds On you. Just gonna let them fry for a couple of minutes and that will release all the aroma. And you'll know when it's ready to add the base because you can actually smell the whole of your kitchen will smell amazing. After that I'm going to add the base. I'm going to cook this for a couple of minutes. If 
you find that it's time to stick to the bottom, you can turn the heat down a little bit or you can add a little bit of water. So I've been cooking this for about three minutes and I've added a little bit of water to make sure it's loose. Now we're going to add our baby aubergines in. We're just going to gently place them in. Once they're all in, we're going to gently mix it so they get coated with the base very, very gently. We don't need to do too much to aubergines because they'll break very easily. So once you give them a mix, we're going to add some water into it, so about 100 ml of water. Let the water come to the boil. And then we're going to turn them on a low heat. The aubergines have been cooking on a low to medium heat for about 20 minutes now and we're going to check if it's nearly done. Now we're going to be careful not to use our wooden spoon, instead we're just going to give the pot a little shake. Yep, just a couple more minutes and these are going to be ready. So there you have it, my baby aubergines in a spicy curry. I'm just going to finish it off with some dried parsley. If you like my video, please like and subscribe.